Tooling costs for high precision die casting are among the highest of any high volume production process. The cost is justified when production rates are relatively high and the tooling cost is spread over many castings. It can also be justified at lower volumes where complex machining or assembly operations can be eliminated through die casting. Die cost per die casting produced is equal to the initial price of tools prorated over the expected production life plus the cost of maintenance. Die casting dies are subjected to very severe operating conditions in normal service. Although dies are made from high quality engineered tool steel, the injection of molten metal and the subsequent rapid cooling induce thermal shock and silic thermal stresses which cause deterioration and ultimately failure of the die steel. The rate of deterioration is a function of the quality of the die steel. The total amount of heat transferred from the molten metal to the die and the associated temperature increase. Deterioration is also affected by the tendency of molten metal to attack the die steel. The high speed flow of molten metal through the die causes die steel erosion called die wash. The amount of erosion on one shot is infinitesimal but the accumulation over many shots must be recognized. The most severe erosion occurs at locations of high metal flow velocity. Sudden change in direction of metal flow and at irregular die features and die sections where these locations cannot be provided with sufficient cooling. Often these factors can be mitigated in the design of the product through early die caster consultation. The most obvious visual effect of die degeneration on the casting are loss of sharp definition of the more intricate details, deterioration of surface quality, and thickening of some sections. As the die degenerates, it must be removed from production periodically and repaired. Ultimately, the die cavities may need to be replaced and eventually the entire die. Die deterioration occurs very rapidly relative to other die casting alloys when copper alloys are cast. This is due to the very high die casting temperature 1505 degrees to 1700 and 25 degrees Fahrenheit of copper alloys and its effect on the die steel. Die deterioration occurs rapidly when aluminum alloys are cast due to the high casting temperature of aluminum alloys and the tendency for aluminum to attack steel. Magnesium alloys are cast at approximately the same temperature as aluminum, but they do not exhibit the same tendency to attack the die steel. Die life is therefore longer and die maintenance costs are lower than for aluminum alloys. Zinc and zinc aluminum alloys are cast at lower temperatures than aluminum and magnesium and do not attack the die steel at casting temperatures. Therefore, die life is greatest and maintenance costs lowest for zinc alloys. Tooling costs can be minimized to some extent in the design of the product. Die components such as core slides mentioned above add to the cost of manufacturing and maintaining dies, while their benefits in producing near net or net shaped castings can be great, they should be avoided when not justified. Where possible, the die casting should be designed with the parting line in one plane to simplify trim die design. 
Tooling costs also include trim dies, which can be estimated at an additional 15 to 20 percent of the die casting die cost. If required, machining and inspection fixtures may be included in total tooling costs.